Konnichiwa Nakamas! We have an unboxing video for you guys today. I'm really, really excited because as you can see, we have a box from Big Bad Toy Stories and also from the Funko Shop. So this is a little bit more on our New Year Comic Con haul. I'm really excited about it. But let's get started with this box over here. And as always, if this is your first time being here, <laughs> welcome to the channel. Become part of the crew. Also, become part of our Nakama crew by clicking that subscribe button. Drop a like if you like videos like this and stay tuned because we got a lot more coming very soon. Now, like I was saying, there's a lot of boxes that are coming in for us. We actually have another box, but I'm gonna make a separate video for that one because I really wanna review what's inside that other box by itself, but forget about that. We have these two to open up. So, Big Bad Toy Stores, of course, I think you guys already know uh, what's in here. I probably did put it on the thumbnail, but um, I'm really excited because this one was kind of back ordered. I don't know if it was like um, my region that was completely back ordered and they took a while to actually um, ship these out. So let's open this box up and take a look at the contents inside. So, all right, so as you can see, they do a good job with their bubble wrap. I'm hoping it doesn't come with any damage because sometimes bubble wrap can squeeze Funko Pops. <laughs> um, but all right. Oh, I thought that was something, but no, we're good. We are good. So it comes, it's completely bubble wrap. So as you can see right here, guys, they completely wrap this thing all the way around. It looks like it's in good condition also. And oh my God, there she is. We're going to take a look at her right now. So yeah, we just get some papers. Let's put this bubble wrap to the side and let's take a look at the Funko Pop. And so she is finally here <laughs> and part of our collection, Himiko Toga from My Hero Academia and she is part of that Wave 3. So that is right guys, I actually did purchase her from um, Big Bad Toy Stores and I know a lot of people were doing pre-orders for her when she was released. A lot of um, companies, you know, put put her up on, her, on their websites. Just to name like another one, I know Arconia, I think was the other website, Big Bad Toy Stores, um, probably Big Apple Collectibles also because they do have that all for one exclusive. I don't know if they did one though um, for Toga. But regardless, she is, like I was saying, which is um, pretty cool. I kind of understand what they're doing, but she's part of that wave three, as you can see. So she's part of the new wave of the My Hero Academia Funko Pops. Um, the other ones, like for example, um, All For One, the exclusive, that's Big Apple Collectible exclusive. That one's gonna be part of wave three as well. And then we have uh, Mirio also. He's definitely gonna be part of this wave as well. He can be part of wave two. Uh, that's right, if you look at that sticker, she is a triple A anime exclusive. Now, they do get a few anime exclusives and I like that. They do a lot of other stuff also. I think I've seen a triple A anime um, Spider-Man Funko Pops. Oh yeah, the, the Spider-Man Venom, I forgot what it was. Uh, but yeah, we've seen different ones. But now it's time to get her out of the box, I think enough talking, and let's take a look how she looks, because I know there were um, a few discrepancies with this Funko Pop. And by discrepancies, I do mean droobs. Yes, I did see your video, and I agree with most of the points that you mentioned on your video. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at the pop, because now I have to talk about that also. But here we have Toga, and I gotta say, right off the bat, she looks great. I do like her look overall. Um, now, one of the things that I did want to mention is that on the box, the art right there, you can see her cheeks are actually shaded. You know, she's one of those characters, she's that sadistic kind of anime character that's crazy, let's just say that. Um, but it's actually a shade of purple right there in her cheeks on the actual box art. But then when you look at the Funko Pop, it's a pink color. Now, of course, I'm gonna leave, actually, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to Droop's, um, uh, channel actually his video so y'all can take a look at that video because it's really interesting He mentions some great points and I want y'all to look at that too. Now besides that it's a it's an okay looking Funko Pop now that I keep looking at it um, <laughs> I mean, it's my hero academia. I love the character. Okay. She's one of those crazy the crazy characters You just gotta love them right in <laughs> anime um, But yes, you know because she is a likable character and a lot of people were looking um, forward to seeing her in, in pop form, you know, you do I mean, man, you look at the details. I think that's what I want to say. So we wanted to see maybe a couple more details um, character-wise with Togo in Funko Pop form, but this is okay. Now she does come with this stand, okay? She can't really stand that well. Actually, she doesn't stand at all. It's kind of, oh, there she is. Oh, she's standing. Overall, she's a great looking Funko Pop. I'm happy to have her on my Hero Academia collection. Now it's time to open 
the Funko Shop exclusive box. So now it's time to open this big box over here. So this one, it was part of the NYCC exclusives that were released. So, um, I mean, there was only two. <laughs> there was only two that I wanted from the Funko Shop from uh, this year's NYCC. And oh my god, I am so ready to actually finally add these to my collection. So they're finally here. And look at that, man. Funko always kills it with the shipping. Of course, <laughs> the company that makes these pops have to be the best when it comes to shipping. But yeah, they do an amazing job. You got some bubble wrap in there. Not only that, they put pop stacks in the pops too, even for the two packs. So we have pumpkin number seven. <laughs> and then we have uh, pumpkin... Uh, just pumpkin. <laughs> so yeah, Funko always uses code names when it comes to their, um, you know, Comic Con exclusive Funko Pops and stuff like that. And for this year's NYCC, they decided to go with pumpkin, as you can see right there. So I guess that's pretty interesting. So we have the two pack. Now, I'm gonna leave the two pack for last because that's the one I'm mostly excited about. I know Leslie's excited about that one too. But we're gonna go ahead and start with this one. I'm gonna open it up, <laughs> and there it is. So I hope it's facing the front there. Oh my god, so, alright, this is a TV show that I am, oh, I'm expecting great things out of it, first of all, but I'm extremely excited to watch it. Now, if you guys have been watching some of our videos, I'm, well, before I start rambling, let me just show you. <laughs> from the Star Wars lineup, and the new lineup, from the Mandalorian TV show, we have NYCC exclusive, The Mandalorian. Now, like I was saying, I'm excited about this TV show, and Leslie and I have been watching Clone Wars. We've been trying to catch up with our Star Wars um, TV shows and movies as well. And I am really, really expecting great things, like I mentioned, of this TV show. And, I mean, they're putting a lot of money on the budget for this show right over here. So, uh, I think it's not only me that I'm expecting great things. A lot of people are. But overall, let's talk about the pop. It looks great. We're about to get them out of the box. And you can see right there the wave. They do have the wave. I've seen it at GameStop, actually, of those Funko Pops. I've seen a, a couple of them. I do like some of them. I might think about pinking one or two up. I like the, the clone, um, or the droid, sorry. IG-11, that's the name of it. I think it's an assassin droid. I'm not sure. Don't, don't quote me on that. But I like the look of that one. But it's time to get this one out of the box, and let's take a closer look. All right, now I did want to mention something special. The backdrop on the Funko Pop, so whenever you see the Funko Pop through the window, it has this little backdrop, this art right here, and it looks pretty cool. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not entirely sure what this is, okay? But we are watching Clone Wars. I don't want to spoil too much either, but I know Mandalorians do have symbols and stuff like that. Um, you know, we see that through Boba Fett and um, some of the bounty hunters as well, so I don't know if that has to do with it. Um, if you know, let me know down in the comment section, but if it has to do with spoilers, just DM me <laughs> in one of my social media accounts so nobody else gets spoiled on maybe, you know, something that they don't know about Clone Wars or Star Wars. So here we have the Mandalorian in pop form, and there is, of course, the common version of him, but this one I love. He's holding the blaster in his hand, and then look at the back. Oh my god. So that weapon right there, that's a lot of nostalgia. I know for old time Star Wars fans, that weapon is something special because whenever we first saw Boba Fett, I believe for the first time, um, I think it was in comic form and he was holding that weapon right there. So it's so cool that they actually brought that weapon into this TV show and we're going to see what that weapon can do. I'm really curious. But overall, great looking pop. I think my favorite feature here is the actual helmet. Of course, it is a Star Wars pop. As you can see, it is a bobblehead. But look at the helmet. You can see kind of like the rustiness in his helmet, um, like, you know, of use and stuff like that. Like this guy, of course, he's a Mandalorian. So, I mean, he's a he's a trained, you can say assassin killer, whatever it is, you know, but he knows how to fight. <laughs> and I think it's a great looking pop and I just love it overall. I want to see the TV show now. I'm super excited for it, but I'm happy to have him in my collection. Now it's time for the two pack. And as you can see, this one does have tape. So we have to cut that tape first of all. Um, but I do appreciate, like I mentioned, that Funko even puts pop stacks on these two packs. I mean, come on, that you, you can't have more protection than, oh my God, I'm having trouble opening this. There we go, we got it open. So I know that they have that extra protection, but now it's time to finally, I've been waiting for this one. Time to take a look at, that's right. The Samurai Jack 2-pack. 
Oh my god. The nostalgia is there, you guys. And more for Leslie than me. Now, like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I still have to fit it. I know, I still have to finish Samurai Jack. <laughs> so I haven't finished it. But Leslie, uh, she's a bigger fan than I am of Samurai Jack. And I know she loves this pop. And right off the bat, oh my god, take a look at this two pack. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> I am so happy I got it. It looks great. Now, the box are, you know, something simple, but I think the more. <laughs> Attracting thing of this Funko Pop is the actual pops. Let's get them out of the box and let's take a look at Aku and Samurai Jack. Wow, that's all I can say. <laughs> Just wow. Oh my god, so incredible. Oh my god, this is so awesome. Another great job from Funko. They, I, I, whoo, I don't know what was my top pop from NYCC, but I think this two pack blows everything else out of the water. Guys, I just want y'all to take a look at the amount of detail this looks. Like it, it was just grabbed out of the cartoon from Cartoon Network and put into pop form. Oh my god, so Samurai Jack looks amazing. You can see him right there. He's sheathing, you know, his, his blade pretty much. It looks so sick. And of course, he's that samurai. Now, I love that he does come with a pop stand as well. He can stand pretty well by himself just like that. But the stand is definitely a plus, and he looks amazing. I, I can't say much. And then, I think the best part about this two-pack, wow. I mean, I look at a coup. This thing looks incredible. Okay, and like I mentioned, like <laughs> straight out of the cartoon into pop form. It's like you're actually holding the actual character in your hand, and it looks amazing. The whole face the structure that they worked on right there, the amount of detail. I'm running out of voice here, you guys. They just did an incredible job. I know previously, I said that Cabbage Man was my top pop and my top what also from NYCC this year. But guys, now that I see the Samurai Jack 2 pack, I mean, this one I think takes everything else <laughs> out of contention, out of competition. I mean, this thing looks incredible. I love it and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. So guys, that's gonna do it for us today. Let me know, what did you think about this mail call? First of all, of course, did you get any of these two NYCC exclusive Funko Pops? And what do you think about the Toga Funko Pop? I know there's a lot of mixed reactions out there, but I definitely want to know. Leave your comments down below so I can read them and I'll definitely answer them as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this short mail call video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like I mentioned, we do have another box and it's from the Pokemon Center. I'll just say this, I think Thanksgiving came a little early for us this time around, so stay tuned for that one. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, Nakamas.